Hey guys, uh, I just thought I'd do a real quick video here uh, while I'm working on some stuff out in the shop tonight. Uh, just take a minute to talk about uh, making some templates and uh, kind of refining your knife designs and things of that nature. Uh, there's definitely multiple ways to do this. Uh, I've actually uh, used several techniques myself uh, just here in the recent past. And uh, I'm sure there's even more than what I'll be talking about, but I uh, just want to give you guys some of my ideas and ways that I do things and uh, just some techniques that have worked pretty well for me. <clears throat> and this kind of goes uh, both for designing the template itself and even uh, transferring your design to the blade steel itself, uh, whether it's mild steel or... Uh, stainless, high carbon, it doesn't really matter. Uh, these obviously will work for all. But uh, first thing obviously you want to do is get kind of a rough idea of your knife design. Uh, when you're making your templates you definitely don't have to settle on anything uh, super specific. Uh, before it goes on the steel you can always modify the profile of the template after you cut it out once you get kind of a more visual and uh, textural feel for it. But uh, as far as how to get your template onto the steel, uh, that's really nothing special. Uh, like I said, I've used several techniques myself in the past. Uh, this is one I've been using recently that has worked pretty well. Uh, and that's simply to take some blue painter's tape, uh, which definitely helps these lines pop a lot better. And then I'll just trace in pen or pencil uh, the design of the knife. Uh, in this case, I kind of drew the design out on paper first, and then I traced that onto the tape. Uh, another way, you could even take the actual cutout of the knife. Uh, whether it's cut specifically like this one, or you, if you maybe design it in a CAD program or other drafting software, uh, you could print that out, kind of cut a rough shape there, and uh, use some spray adhesive to glue it directly onto your steel. Uh, I've done similar things to that in the past. Uh, the only consideration is if you plan on dipping your blade, uh, as the steel will get pretty hot while profiling, uh, you may want to uh, put some kind of waterproofer over the top. And uh, I know there are various products you can use for that. Uh, hairspray might even work uh, temporarily, I'm not sure. But uh, that's one way. Uh, you can just draw directly onto the steel. I've used that method in the past. Uh, it's a little bit harder on this type of steel to see a pencil line. Uh, I've also used Sharpie. Uh, you can even uh, put some layout dye on there and scribe a design. Uh, although that's a little harder to get super precise for me. But uh, once you get the design on the steel, uh, then you can just simply uh, rough it out. Uh, I'm probably going to separate this with a hacksaw and then uh, you can just profile it out as normal. But uh, I think it's definitely a good idea to make templates, especially if you plan on repeating a design. Uh, obviously if you're just going to make uh, a one-off or you know one-of-a-kind knife or design uh, then you probably don't need to waste time using a template. Uh, you can maybe just design it on your computer and print it out uh, like I was talking about. Uh, but in this case, these are designs that I'll most likely repeat several times. So uh, it's definitely a good idea uh, for consistency's sake uh, to get a template that you can either uh, trace around with a pen or a pencil. Or uh, in my case, I like to use just a simple metal scribe uh, such as this. And uh, I seem to get very good results with that. Uh, as far as template materials concerned, it does not have to be mild steel. Uh, this is just kind of my preference uh, since uh, it stays pretty consistent uh, as far as moisture is concerned. Uh, I mean, you can use wood, but if that gets wet, uh, it could possibly warp, split, crack, things like that. Uh, it's also very cheap, very stable, very sturdy, and uh, it lasts a long time. And you can easily scribe around it uh, dozens, if not hundreds of times, without compromising the material itself. Uh, unlike even uh, plastic or wood. Uh, and like I said, you could print 
your designs out. Uh, you can probably get probably close to 20 of these on an 8x10 sheet of paper if you wanted to. Uh, and then you could just rough it out with scissors, glue it on, no problem. Uh, that seems like it's a little bit more work for me, uh, just cutting it out every time, uh, spraying it on, and then worrying about it uh, coming off. Uh, I know there's a lot of guys that do that, and it works well. So definitely not looking down upon that technique. Uh, like I said, there's always more than one way to do things. So uh, that's pretty much that. Uh, as far as designing the knife itself, uh, there's really not much to say about that. Uh, just design. I, I just design what looks good to me. Uh, I know these aren't super original designs. I'm pretty sure you can look all over the place and find, you know, the basic handle, finger choil, uh, blade design like I have here. Uh, I'm not so much looking for uniqueness in uh, the shape of the blade so much as just the craftsmanship itself. Uh, maybe putting my own flair on handle materials and shape of that, but... Uh, Definitely not much of that. You just kind of want something that looks halfway balanced uh, for the most part. Uh, and it definitely helps also when you get a solid template like this and mild steel. Uh, you're able to get a much better visual representation, uh, such as in this case, uh, as well as a feel for comfort uh, that you're probably not going to get as well uh, with something like a piece of paper, which is uh, pretty flexible. Uh, I mean, obviously, you can get a pretty good idea as far as size and uh, probably how comfortable it would be uh, but this definitely gets you one step closer in my opinion uh, just making the mild steel templates and you can even rough out a handle if you were so inclined and see how it felt after that uh, but I get to get enough idea just with the blank uh, that I wouldn't need to do that but uh, anyway, I didn't want to make this video too long. I uh, just wanted to get some thoughts out on maybe how you could transfer some templates, how to design or uh, make them. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and separate these two, grind those out, and that'll probably be uh, the majority of my work tonight as it's already pretty late. So uh, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to rate, comment, or subscribe. And uh, there's always more to come. Until next time.